New words and examples. Aircraft. An aircraft is a vehicle that flies in the sky, such as an airplane or helicopter. At the museum in the airport, you can see a lot of old aircraft. Celebrity. A celebrity is someone who is famous. It was the highlight of the evening when the celebrities arrived. Concrete. Concrete is a substance made from stones. The man covered the ground with concrete. Decisive. If someone is decisive, they make decisions quickly. Our boss is very decisive, so it did not take long to organize the project. Esteemed. If someone is esteemed, many people like or respect them. An esteemed scientist is coming to the university to talk about her discoveries. Ethical. If something is ethical, it is the right thing to do. Many people believe that it is ethical to help others in need. Extinct. If plants or animals are extinct, there are none left. There used to be dinosaurs all over the world, but now they are extinct. Hardy. If a person or plant is hardy, it is strong and can live through difficult conditions. The farmer is a hardy man and doesn't mind working outside. Institute. An institute is an organization that is interested in research or teaching. I am going to a lecture about ancient Rome at the historical institute. Jealousy. Jealousy is a feeling of wanting something that somebody else has. She felt a lot of jealousy when she saw Luke with two girls. Migrate. To migrate means to move from one place to another. Many birds migrate to warmer countries in the winter. Nurture. To nurture something means to care for it as it grows or develops. Robert nurtured his plants, and that is why they grow so well. Overhead. If something is overhead, it is located above you. As we sat on top of the hill, a plane flew overhead. Principle. A principle is a belief about the correct way to behave. To maintain principles, it's vital to watch, listen, and speak carefully. Rural. If a place is rural, it is in the countryside instead of the city. I want to live in a small house in a rural area. Secluded. If a place is secluded, it is far away from any other place. There was a secluded bench in the park. Species. A species is a type of plant or animal. There are twenty-one different species of butterfly in this forest. Swamp. A swamp is a very wet area of land. There are lots of wild animals living in the swamp. Traverse. To traverse means to move or travel through an area. The explorer traversed the desert alone on a camel. Zoology. Zoology is a subject in which people study animals. Helen wants to study zoology because she has always liked animals. Gilbert and the lizard. Eliza disliked Australia. Firstly, she'd had to spend twenty uncomfortable hours on an aircraft getting here. She wanted to go to the beach, but her husband was a zoology professor and wanted to look for some interesting animals. So now she was traversing a swamp in the midday heat. Let me sit down, Gilbert. I'm not hardy like you," she said eventually. They sat under a tree. There were lots of birds in that secluded rural place, and they watched them flying overhead. Then suddenly, Gilbert saw something on a rock. "That's strange," said Gilbert. "That looks like a red swamp lizard, but I thought that species was extinct." He carefully picked it up. Yes, it is. I'm going to take it back to the zoology institute. They will be filled with so much jealousy when they see what I have found. Are you sure we should take it from its home? Asked Eliza. Nonsense. Many animals migrate. They're used to changes, said Gilbert. Hmm. I don't agree with the principle of it, said Eliza. It isn't ethical. But Gilbert was decisive and took the lizard back to the hotel in the city. He thought that this find would make him a highly esteemed celebrity at the Zoology Institute. For the next few days, 
Gilbert fed and nurtured the lizard. But the lizard wasn't happy. It lost its beautiful red color and began to look ordinary. In fact, Gilbert started to wonder whether it was special at all. He went outside and found a common lizard on a piece of concrete. When he compared them, they looked exactly alike. The lizard was only red in the swamp. Gilbert said to Eliza, I'm going to return this lizard to the swamp. I've learned an important lesson. Home is where we are happiest. At home, we are special, like the red lizard. We can never be so happy when we are away. Good, said Eliza. So can we go home now? New words and examples. Accurate. If something is accurate, it is completely correct. The story in the newspaper wasn't very accurate. Analyze. To analyze something is to study it. The scientist will analyze the blood sample. Asteroid. An asteroid is a giant rock from outer space. In 1908, a giant asteroid hit Siberia. Controversy. A controversy is a dispute about something that affects many people. There has been a lot of controversy over the judge's decision. Evolve. To evolve is to change over time. Many people think that humans evolved from animals. Factor. A factor is something that has an effect on the way another thing happens. Smoking is the main factor that causes lung cancer. Genetic. If something is genetic, it is related to the genes in one's body. The color of one's eyes is genetic. Genome. A genome is the collection of all the genes in a living thing. Understanding the human genome may help cure many diseases. Identical. To be identical is to be the same as someone or something else. James and John are identical twins. Intellectual. An intellectual is a very smart person. We've always considered my Uncle Max the intellectual of the family. Majority. A majority of something is almost all of the people or things in that group. A majority of the people voted for Tom Smith in the election. Mammal. A mammal is an animal that usually has hair and is not born from an egg. Even though it lives in the water, whales are actually mammals. Multiply. To multiply is to increase in number. In the past year, the number of people at work multiplied by 10%. Offspring. Offspring are the children of a person or the babies of an animal. The dog's offspring had the same color of fur as she did. Pesticide. A pesticide is a substance used to kill insects. The farmer sprayed his crops with a pesticide to keep bugs away. Regulate. To regulate something is to control how it happens. The bank regulates how much money people can borrow from it. Reinforce. To reinforce something is to make it stronger. Peter reinforced his opinion with information from a book. Stricken. If one is stricken by a disease or problem, they are badly affected by it. Mike was stricken with a horrible illness. Vast. If something is vast, it is very large. The wealthy man bought a vast amount of land in the countryside. Vegetarian. A vegetarian is someone who does not eat any meat products. I became a vegetarian because I don't like the taste of meat. How the Dinosaurs Really Died Many scientists and intellectuals think that dinosaurs died when an asteroid smashed into the Earth millions of years ago. However, recently, there has been some controversy over this theory. Some scientists think that it isn't accurate. They think that a tiny insect may have been the biggest factor in the death of these huge creatures. That insect was the mosquito. These scientists do think that an asteroid hit the Earth in the time of the dinosaurs, but that wasn't what killed all of them. At that time, insects, including the mosquito, were beginning to evolve. Today, we can regulate the number of mosquitoes with pesticides. But that was impossible millions of years ago. The mosquitoes multiplied quickly, and they were certainly not idle. 
since there were so many mosquitoes, it was easy for them to bite many of the dinosaurs. When they bit another living thing, the mosquitoes passed along a deadly disease. So the dinosaurs were stricken with the disease. A vast majority of them, from the vegetarians to the meat eaters, died. To reinforce this idea, scientists stress how gradually the dinosaurs died. If an asteroid killed them, they would have died very quickly. But the number of dinosaurs decreased slowly. In addition, scientists have found genetic material of mosquitoes in fossils. This material proves that mosquitoes existed back then. Although there may have been other factors, the dinosaurs died mainly because of disease. The scientists say, no matter how it happened, the dinosaurs' death had a major impact on other living things. Many dinosaurs ate mammals. After the dinosaurs died, mammals were able to evolve and produce offspring. Birds also evolved. Scientists have analyzed the genomes of birds, and they discovered that birds have identical genetic material to some dinosaurs. So there may still be dinosaurs among us after all. New words and examples. Afflicted. Afflicted means to suffer physically or mentally. He was afflicted by pain in his right arm. Aisle. An aisle is a space between two things that people use to walk. They were told to clear the aisle because the plane was about to land. Atmosphere. The atmosphere is the air around the Earth where weather conditions form. Scientists worry that harmful substances are hurting the atmosphere. Author. An author is a person who wrote a certain piece of writing. The author was hard at work on his next novel. Breakdown. A breakdown is a failure to work correctly. Her car had a breakdown, and she wasn't sure how to fix it. Cargo. Cargo is the items carried by a ship or plane. The cargo of the ship got wet when it started raining. Chapter. A chapter is a part of a book that usually has a number or a title. The first chapter of a book usually introduces the main character of a story. Connect. To connect two things means to join them together. I connected the mouse to my laptop computer. Etc. Etc. is short for etc. It is used to refer to other unspecified objects. She was going to bring treats to the party: cookies, muffins, cake, etc. Flip. To flip means to press a switch quickly to turn it on or off. To turn on the lights, just flip the switch. Idle. If you are idle, you are not doing anything. She read a book to keep from being idle. Notify. To notify someone of something is to tell them about it. The teacher notified us about a change to our assignment. P. Peas are a vegetable that is small, round, and green. His favorite food was peas. Raisin. A raisin is a dried grape. Raisins are one of my favorite snacks. Retain. To retain something is to keep it. Even by the afternoon, the day had retained the morning's freshness. State. To state something means to say it in a definite way. The president stated his opinion about the world's health concerns. Tray. A tray is a flat plate used to hold food. The waiter brought our food on a tray. Unfortunate. If something is unfortunate, it is bad or unlucky. It was unfortunate that Dave's team lost, but he still had fun. Vivid. When something is vivid, it is bright and colorful. The figures in the painting were vivid. Vomit. To vomit means to have food come up from one's stomach. It is common for women to vomit when they are pregnant. Isaac's first plane trip. Isaac's family was going on vacation. He was excited about the trip, except for one thing: he had never been on a plane before. He was scared that his plane would have a breakdown. Isaac got onto the plane. He walked down the aisle until he found his seat. He sat down and connected the ends of his seatbelt. After being idle for a few minutes, the pilot announced that they were ready to leave.
He looked out the window at the vivid colors of the sky. He began to feel scared. The girl sitting next to him said, "Hi, I'm Rachel. You look nervous, but you don't need to be. Flying is fun." "I'm still a bit nervous," Isaac said, "and I'm getting hungry. The food service will begin soon. Just lower the tray on the seat in front of you and flip this switch. Then they'll bring your dinner." Last time they served chicken, peas, and a box of raisins," Rachel explained. Then the pilot notified the passengers of bad conditions in the atmosphere. "We're tracking the weather: lightning, clouds, etc. The ride might get a bit rough," he stated. Suddenly, the plane started to shake. Isaac was badly afflicted by his fear. His stomach hurt, and he thought he might vomit. He couldn't believe that he was in such an unfortunate place. Finally, the shaking stopped. Isaac was still scared, but he tried to retain a good attitude. The first time I flew, the plane shook so bad that cargo started falling. My parents told me to listen to music and read a chapter in my book. It calmed me, Rachel said. Suddenly, the plane shook again. This time, Isaac followed Rachel's advice. He put on headphones and took out a book by his favorite author. The book and the music helped Isaac feel better. After a while, he didn't even notice the bad weather. The bad situation didn't feel so bad after someone helped him. New words and examples. Betray. To betray someone means to treat them in a dishonest way. The man betrayed his country when he gave away national secrets. Blast. A blast is a loud noise made by something that explodes. There was a loud blast when the police officer fired the gun. Bracelet. A bracelet is a piece of jewelry that you wear around your wrist. My father gave me a pretty gold bracelet for my birthday. Cease. To cease means to stop. After about an hour, the rain ceased and a rainbow appeared. Choke. To choke means to cough because you have difficulty breathing. There was a lot of smoke in the air and it made me choke. Civil. When an event is civil, it happens inside a country. The country was torn apart by a terrible civil war. Comment. To comment means to say something that shows your personal opinion. Tom commented on the poor quality of the food. Cross. To cross means to go from one side to the other side. We used his boat to cross to the other side of the lake. Dent. A dent is damage caused by something heavy hitting something else. That blue car hit my car, and now there is a small dent in my car door. Distrust. To distrust someone means to believe that they are not honest. Don't lend money to someone if you distrust them. Fort. A fort is a small building that is specially built to defend an area from attack. When the army arrived. They built a big fort on the top of the hill. Found. To found means to bring something into existence. The pastor founded his church in the countryside. Lining. Lining is a piece of cloth that covers the inside of clothes. This jacket is very warm because it has a thick lining. Mass. A mass is a large number of things of one type. We received a mass of letters this morning. Pray. To pray means to talk to God. When people go to church, they pray for their families and friends. Rife. If a place is rife with something bad, it is very common in that place. This part of the country is rife with disease. Soul. When something is the sole thing, it is the only thing of a particular type. His sole purpose in life was to help others. Sweep. If you sweep the floor, you clean it with a tool like a broom or a brush. There is a lot of dirt on the floor. Can you sweep it, please? Treachery. Treachery is a behavior in which a person betrays a country or a person. The man ran away to escape from the treachery of his wife. Tuck. To tuck something means to put it somewhere so that it is neat or safe. He looked sloppy without his shirt being tucked into his pants. The betrayal.
A king lived in a fort with his daughter Clara. The king had founded a great empire, but his land was rife with enemies who wanted to take over the kingdom. Because there was so much civil unrest, the king told Clara not to trust anyone. One day, Clara was walking outside when she saw a girl sweeping the path. Clara crossed the garden, and they started talking. The girl's name was Susie. Clara felt sorry for Susie because she was very poor, and Clara gave her a bracelet. After that, Susie and Clara met every day. Once the king saw them talking, he told Clara, "Don't talk to that girl. She could be an enemy." You can't distrust everyone," commented Clara. "She is my sole friend. It's okay to be friendly to people." The king said, "Don't argue with me." Stay inside from now on and talk to no one. Clara felt lonely in the fort, but one day she saw Susie outside. She wrote her a note with a map showing a secret entrance to the fort. Clara wrote, "Come at night and we can talk together. Don't show anybody this note." She threw the note to Susie, and Susie tucked it in the lining of her dress. That night, Clara waited for Susie. But she heard something ticking, and then a loud blast. She ran into the hall, and it was full of smoke, which made her choke. A mass of soldiers were there fighting. Clara realized that Susie had betrayed her and given the map to her father's enemies. Clara prayed that everyone in the castle would be safe from her friend's treachery. At last, the fighting ceased. Clara found her father in the hall with his soldiers. They had defeated their enemies, but there were dents in their armor from the heavy fighting. Clara told her father what she had done and promised never to disobey him again. New words and examples. Assumption. An assumption is something that you believe is true but cannot prove. I went to the cafeteria on the assumption that everyone would be there. Barley. Barley is a grain that is used for animal feed, health food, and beer. The farmer grew barley to feed his cows in the winter. Beast. A beast is a large, dangerous animal. A lion is one of the fiercest beasts on earth. Colonel. A colonel is a military officer. James has been given a promotion in the army. He is now a colonel. Contagious. If a disease is contagious, it is easily carried from one person to another. You must wear protective clothing because the patient's illness is contagious. Corpse. A corpse is a dead body of a human. After the accident, the corpse was taken to the hospital. Crisis. A crisis is a situation that is extremely stressful or dangerous. The airport workers' strike led to a crisis at the airport. Cure. To cure means to cause an illness or injury to end or disappear. My dentist cured me of my toothache. Deformed. If something is deformed, it is not shaped normally and may appear ugly. Even though the carrot was deformed, it was still safe to eat. Discriminate. To discriminate means to judge people according to their looks. They discriminated against her because she was different. Embassy. An embassy is where government officials work in a foreign country. If you lose your passport, you should contact the embassy. Extinguish. To extinguish a fire means to make it stop. Michael extinguished the small fire with the hose. Flint. Flint is a hard stone that people used to make weapons for hunting. There are a lot of flint tools in the museum. Harass. To harass someone means to annoy or trouble them. The children harassed their mother because they wanted her attention. Integrate. To integrate means to join, communicate, and socialize. Governments want immigrants to integrate with the population. Miniature. If something is miniature, it is very small. The boy enjoys playing with his miniature train set in his bedroom. Nutrition. 
Nutrition is the process by which people use food to stay healthy. It is important to pay attention to nutrition if you want to be an athlete. Promptly. If something happens promptly, it happens quickly or on time. Arrive promptly, or we won't have time to discuss everything. Technician. A technician is a person who is skilled in electronic or mechanical work. I need to call the technician to help me with my computer. Tropics. The tropics are the areas of land and sea close to the equator. People like to go to the tropics for vacation because it's warm. The forest people. Colonel Wilbur and his wife Mary were flying over the tropics in their private plane, but suddenly the engine caught fire. It was impossible to extinguish the fire, so they were forced to land in the forest. What are we going to do? said Mary. Can you fix the plane? Wilbur said, "That's impossible. I am not a technician, and the plane is out of gasoline. We'll have to find help." Wilbur and Mary walked through the forest. It was difficult to find a path through the trees. Mary even tore her dress on sharp thorns. Suddenly, they saw some huts and lots of miniature people cooking and making weapons with flint. "I'll ask them for help," said Wilbur. "No, don't go. They are deformed." Said Mary, "They'll harass us. They may have a contagious virus that will make us sick. We won't know how to cure it. We'll surely end up as corpses." Wilbur tried to persuade Mary to go to the forest people, but she refused to integrate with them. She had the assumption that the small people were dangerous. Let's keep walking. We're sure to find someone sooner or later. For three days, the couple searched. But they found no one who could help them in their crisis. It was uncomfortable, and they were hungry without any source of nutrition. Plus, the forest was filled with dangerous beasts. Finally, Mary agreed to return to the forest people. When Wilbur and Mary arrived at the village, the forest people immediately welcomed them. They gave them bread made from barley to eat and a place to sleep. The next day. The forest people led Wilbur and Mary through the trees, and they promptly arrived at a small town. From there, they took a bus to the city, where they found an embassy. Mary was sorry that she had not trusted the forest people sooner. She learned the value of not discriminating against people who are different. New words and examples. Charity. Charity is an act of giving help. Usually, money to those who need it. Thanks to his friend's charity, he had enough money to pay the rent. Commerce. Commerce is the activity of buying and selling things. The new shopping mall increased the commerce in that section of town. Condemn. To condemn someone means to give them a specific punishment. The judge condemned the criminal to five years in prison. Cozy. If something is cozy, then it is comfortable, warm, and relaxing. The thick blanket made the bed very cozy. Deplete. To deplete an amount of something means to use up all of it. All the driving he was doing was depleting his car's fuel supply. Economy. An economy is the money and businesses of a country or region. The factory was good for the economy because it brought jobs to the area. Empire. An empire is a large group of countries ruled by an emperor or empress. The emperor built roads to make travel easier throughout the empire. Goods. Goods are anything that can be bought or sold. Shoes, hats, dresses, and purses were the goods she wanted to buy. Heed. To heed something means to obey or follow it. You should heed the advice on the sign and not drive so fast. Hitchhike. To hitchhike means to travel by asking for rides from passing vehicles. She didn't have a car, so she hitchhiked several miles to her brother's home. Mock. To mock someone means to tease them in a cruel way. The girls mocked Nancy because she was a new student. Neutral. If someone is neutral, then they do not help either of the two fighting sides.
The girl's friend remained neutral while the couple was arguing. Persecute. To persecute means to treat someone badly. Dan felt persecuted because he was smaller than the other boys at school. Pity. Pity is the feeling of sadness and kindness for those who are suffering. Because she had pity for the lost boy, she helped him find his parents. Reduce. To reduce something means to make it less in size or number. When the store reduced its prices, people wanted to shop there. Scribe. A scribe was a person whose job was to copy written works. In ancient Egypt, scribes recorded important events. Temper. A temper is someone's mood or a chance that they might get angry. She has a temper. Even the slightest mistakes make her angry. Throne. A throne is the special chair in which a ruler sits. Nobody except the king and queen sat in the thrones in the great hall. Unity. Unity is the state of people working together for a certain purpose. The project was finished early, thanks to the unity of the workers. Victor. A victor is a group or person that wins in a contest. At the end of the game, the blue team was the victor. The scribe's warning. A great and powerful empire needed the wood from its western areas to build palaces and homes for the emperor and his friends. However, the empire had depleted many of the forests. The trees were important to the western area's economy. With no trees to sell, the commerce in that area was reduced. Citizens could no longer purchase the goods that they needed to survive. Their life became difficult. A poor scribe from the area wanted to help. He hitchhiked to the capital to ask the emperor for charity. He was invited to the palace. It was large and cozy. Tables were loaded with food, and fires burned warmly in every fireplace. The emperor sat up upon his throne, and the scribe stood in front of him. I've come to ask for help, the scribe said. We're all very poor and hungry. You've used up all of the forests, and now we have nothing to sell. Then he added a warning: If we don't receive help, I'm afraid that the entire empire will suffer. We must establish some unity. Upon hearing the scribe's request, the emperor's bad temper surfaced. He mocked the scribe. You think I should help? He said and laughed. You should just be happy to belong to this great empire. You will get nothing from me. The emperor felt no pity for the citizens of the western area. They were condemned to starve. The scribe returned home with nothing. Not long after, an enemy invaded the empire from the west. They were marching to the capital. Because the citizens felt persecuted by the emperor, they remained neutral. They didn't fight the invaders, but allowed them to march freely to the capital. The emperor was defeated. If he had heeded the words of the scribe, then the citizens might have been the victors. But because he had treated them badly, they treated him badly in return. New words and examples. Background. A background is a person's education, family, and experience. The new teacher had a background in science and math. Bait. Bait is something used to trick a person or thing to do something. The best bait for catching fish is a big fat worm. Chronicle. To chronicle something means to record an event or speech. The daily newspaper chronicles local and world events. Copper. Copper is a red-brown metal often used in electric wire and pipes. Ancient hunters melted copper to make knives and spears. Disease. A disease is an illness that causes specific problems. He had a disease that caused him to lose his hearing. Folklore. Folklore is the collection of beliefs and stories of a culture. India's folklore has stories written in long poems about great warriors. Infect. To infect someone means to give them an illness. 
The common cold infects hundreds of millions of people each year. Itch. To itch means to rub the skin with your fingernails. The rough fabric in his shirt made the back of his neck itch. Literature. Literature is books, plays, and poetry. Early American literature covers the poetry and stories from 1500 to 1800. Millennium. A millennium is 1,000 years. Stonehenge is believed to have been built about five millenniums ago. Myth. A myth is a traditional story that explains a culture's history and beliefs. In Greece, there was a myth about a woman who had snakes for hair. Relate. To relate to something means to have a connection with it. A company's plan usually relates to how much profit it can make. Religion. A religion is a belief in a god or gods. Their religion taught that people should forgive their enemies. Sum. A sum is a specific amount of money. He calculated the numbers to see what the sum of his bills would be. Teller. A teller is a person who works with a bank's customers. The teller at the bank helped Kelly put money into a savings account. Trustworthy. If someone is trustworthy, they are honest and truthful. Mary is one of the most trustworthy people I've ever met. Update. An update is an act of making something more modern. I'm doing an update on my personal phone directory. Vein. A vein is a tube in the body that carries blood toward the heart. The blue veins in my hand are just under my skin. Venom. Venom is a poisonous substance that comes from animals or plants. A snake's venom can be used to cure the illnesses it creates. Promote. To promote someone means to raise them to a higher position or rank. After two years in the company, she was promoted to a manager. The teller and the thieves. A teller at a bank suspected some of her fellow employees of not being very trustworthy. She thought they were stealing. In order to catch them, though, she needed some way to link them to the crime. She had a background in religion and folklore. She remembered that one religion's literature had a myth that chronicled how a group of thieves was captured. In the millennium-old story, coins of copper were covered with venom taken from a poisonous snake. The coins were left as bait for the robbers. When they touched the coins, the venom infected their bodies through their skin. The venom ran through their veins, and they all became very sick, as if they had a disease. It made their skin purple. The police arrested whoever had purple skin. She knew she couldn't use venom because it might hurt someone. However, she thought of a way to update the old story. She decided to cover a sum of money with a special powder. If people touched the money, the powder would cause their skin to itch. She placed the stack of money in the bank safe. No one was supposed to take money from the safe. If somebody did, then they had to be stealing. Within a few hours, three of her co-workers were scratching their hands and arms. They itched so badly that they couldn't even work. She checked the money, and it was gone. She told her boss what she had done, and he had the thieves arrested. He thanked her and promoted her. Because events from history often repeat, ancient literature had helped the teller solve a crime. She proved that stories from the past still relate with the problems of today, and they can be helpful in solving problems. New words and examples. Cherish. To cherish something means to hold it as very important. I cherish this trophy I won. Compassion. Compassion is a feeling of understanding for someone who is hurt or suffering. The veterinarian had compassion for the sick little puppy. Consent. Consent is permission to do something. Their mother gave the children consent to go outside and play. Core. The core is the center of something. The rings of a tree start forming at its core. Cunning. If someone is cunning, they are good at tricking people. The cunning child fooled his parents into thinking that he was kind. Dizzy. If someone is dizzy, then they feel off balance, as if they will fall down. 
The pregnant woman was dizzy after standing up too quickly. Equilibrium. Equilibrium is the balance between different forces. The sudden drop in prices upset the equilibrium of the economy. Foster. To foster a feeling or a skill means to help it develop. She helped foster a sense of calm in the little boy. Grind. To grind something means to break it into very small pieces or powder. She wanted to grind the beans so she could brew some coffee. Growl. To growl means to make a deep, angry sound. The dog started to growl at the man walking by. Moderation. Moderation is a state of being just enough, but not too much. It is important to eat in moderation so that you can have a healthy body. Predator. A predator is an animal that kills and eats other animals. The peregrine falcon is a predator that eats fish. Sane. If someone is sane, they can think in a normal way. Oliver does not act like a sane person when he is angry. Saucer. A saucer is a small round dish that you set a cup on. He placed the spoon on the saucer. Snatch. To snatch something means to take it away with a quick motion. He was so hungry that he snatched an apple from a tree. Stagger. To stagger means to move in an unsteady way and almost fall over. He staggered around after having too much to drink. Stumble. To stumble means to put your foot down wrong so that you almost fall. He stumbled as he ran through the puddle. Tense. If someone is tense, they are worried something bad might happen. After the phone call, Monica was very tense. Tumble. To tumble means to fall, often in a rolling way. He lost his balance while snowboarding and tumbled to the ground. Withhold. To withhold something is to not give it to someone. They withheld all information until she paid her fine. The traveler and the innkeeper. A traveler stopped at an inn. He sat and watched people closely, like a predator. He heard the old innkeeper talking to a young man in the core of the inn. I just need to borrow some money. I swear that I'll spend it in moderation, and my friend will pay you back tomorrow. The man said. The innkeeper gave his consent and pulled out some money. The traveler knew that this was a trick. The man was going to leave with the poor innkeeper's money and never return. He felt compassion for the nice innkeeper and did not want him to be tricked. The cunning traveler decided to teach the innkeeper a lesson. The traveler walked over to the innkeeper and sat down. The innkeeper had started to grind coffee beans to make coffee. He made the coffee and handed the traveler a saucer and a cup. The two started talking. After a while, the traveler yawned and then growled like a wolf. "Are you not sane? I thought I just heard you growl," said the innkeeper. "I did. I am cursed. Every time I yawn three times in a row, I turn into a wolf and attack people." The innkeeper became tense. Then the traveler yawned again. As the traveler started to yawn a third time. The innkeeper turned to run outside. As he ran, the traveler snatched his coat. The scared innkeeper staggered outside and tumbled into the street. The traveler followed him out because he did not want to withhold the truth any longer. He just wanted to foster happiness and restore the innkeeper's emotional equilibrium. The innkeeper was dizzy and he stumbled. The traveler helped him stand up. That was a trick," the traveler said as he returned the coat. "Oh, good! I cherish this coat," responded the innkeeper. "Well, hopefully this will teach you that you shouldn't believe every story that you hear."